Welcome to Performance TV and coverage of the PRI show from Indianapolis, Indiana. For the next half hour, we'll be talking wheels with BBS, turbos with Borg Warner, headers from Profiler Performance, plus the latest info on the resurgence of the Champ Truck World Series. All this and more coming up. Thanks for joining us this week on Performance TV, where it's PRI from Indianapolis, Indiana. High performance parts galore, and what do you say? We hop on the floor and find out what's new. Well, undoubtedly, BBS is one of the most recognizable names in wheels. I've, I've known them for years, but I'm with Craig Donnelly of BBS Wheels. Craig, what, what separates your wheels from the rest? They've been around forever, and I remember this name forever. What separates yours as far as technology and wheels? Well, we started out in 1970 as a racing product and then eventually built it into a street product as well. But we use a wider range of technologies uh, and, and manufacturing assembly methods than really anyone in the business. Yeah, a lot of ma different materials as well. I see a magnesium wheel up here. I mean, you, you, ha you have the whole range as far as different styles for different types of racing? Yes, uh, we try and figure out what's best for a particular series or a particular customer's needs. And because of the wide range of things that we offer, we can always accommodate and find the best solution for a given requirement. You have, you have a one-piece wheel, you have a two-piece wheel. What's the difference in what we see up here on the counter? Well, uh, the center wheel here is a forged magnesium Formula One wheel. Uh, this is actually a street product. It's a two-piece forged aluminum wheel. But this, unlike a lot of wheels, this is actually a die forging. So this shape is actually formed in the dies during the forging process where a lot of companies will just sink machine from a solid block of material. So it's a rather unique production method on this. Uh, the wheel on the right here is actually a new wheel that we have that is a, called our, our FIR. And it's a kind of an updated version of a wheel that we introduced several years back. Uh, one piece forged aluminum wheel, full FEA, uh, incredible design. Uh, rather unique manufacturing process for the machining. I was going to say, it looks very, there's a lot of machine work going into that, it's, that uh, wheel. It's, this is the first time we've actually shown it anywhere in the U.S. Well, I mean, BBS wheels, your record kind of speaks for yourself. All, look at the winner's circle they have here. Every major race that has got a winning wheel here is a BBS. Be sure and check them out, BBS wheels, for your car on the street or on the racetrack. I know, getting boosted is a whole lot of fun, and especially when you're talking to the folks from Borg Warner. Kurt, you guys have a complete line here. This, I guess this would be your top of the line. It sure is, yes, yes, thank you. Uh, the, the Borg Warner EFR series is our, basically like you said, our top shelf product, right? This is, uh, this is the quickest spooling turbocharger that we manufacture and we feel uh, very competitive in the market. Uh, I see there are quite a few different ones as well in this line. That's correct, yes. We carry a range from basically 200 horsepower up to 1,000 horsepower capacity with the EFR series. What really makes this line so much better? What kind of technology have you guys put into these things? Right, yeah, I'd say that the most exciting feature about EFR is the titanium aluminide turbine wheel, which uh, is basically it's half the density of a typical turbine, turbine wheel, and so it's, uh, it allows for really fast response and spool. And with, with the uh, amount of weight it doesn't have. Correct, yes. Yep. It's that weight savings that, that provides that benefit. Well, the, these are all the, the different ones that you have as we're kind of taking a look, but you have come up with some newer upgrades for this line as well. Correct, yeah. We started um, producing this product in early 2011. <clears throat> Excuse me. In early 2011, we've continued to evolve this product to, to better fit what our customers need. So, like what you see here in front of us, this is uh, just a few updates that we have for coming in 2015. So always new surprises on how to get boosted. Correct. Correct. All right, well, you can find out more with Borg Warner and their entire line, not just what we've seen here today, but so much more. All you have to do is hop on their website at BorgWarnerBoosted.com. Stay with us. We'll be back with more Performance TV from Indianapolis and the PRI Show. This edition of Performance TV presented by ARP is being brought to you by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. Trend Performance, offering racers and enthusiasts the finest choice of valve train components. Asenmacher Specialty Tools, professional tools for the professional technician. Giant Finishing, a leader in vibratory mass finishing equipment. 
and by VR12, ultimate cooling system protection. Welcome back to Performance TV at the PRI Show. If you're looking for a new set of aluminum heads put on your engine, well, you need to check out Profiler Performance Products. And I'm with Mike Green, the owner of Profiler here. Mike, you've got a whole array of cylinder heads for almost any application. Uh, yeah, we carry heads for small block Chevy, small block Ford, big block Chevy, big block Ford. So, you know, we pretty much got that range covered. Now, tell me a little bit about your heads. Uh, what, what, tell me what's special about yours and why somebody would want to buy a Profiler head. Uh, everything we do is made in the U.S. Uh, we do everything in-house. And just from a casting standpoint and from the performance standpoint. I know, I know for a fact, I've been in Australia racing. you got a set of heads on uh, a really fast pro stock, small block pro stocks down in Australia. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, we have our airstrike head, which is um, a splayed valve symmetrical port small block Chevy head. These things are 400 inch small blocks turning almost 11,000 RPM. Now, if I got a, a street car, I want to want to get a little more power out of it. What what head would I go to for that? Uh, our 23 degree small block Chevy head. Uh, we do it in a 195 cc and a 210 cc as cast. And uh, you know, we got some guys doing 383s, 500 horse on the street. And then you have like big block. I got an old muscle car. Want to update it a little bit. Want to make a little more power out of it. What I, what what am I looking at for that? Um, as far as like a muscle car on the street, you know, we've got a good 320 oval port head or a 290 oval port. Sniper Junior Manifold and uh, had to step that muscle car right up. Yeah, you mentioned Manifold. Now, you make Manifolds to match the heads, and uh, you, you only have that in Chevy, or like well, what else we have? Uh, our Manifolds are just big block Chevy at the moment, but you know, we're looking to increase that line and kind of expand it into some other markets. Man, I mean, if I'm going to get a little more horsepower and I want to get a new aluminum head, I'm going to Profiler Performance Products. These heads are outstanding looking, but they also perform. Check them out at ProfilerPerformance.com. Would you really think that you could be more comfortable and by doing so, be a little bit quicker? Jody with Speed Seat, racers serving racers. And this is a, a great example here of a cart seat. They put it in, they went faster. Yes, and uh, at the same time, he, he ran a lot faster, a lot longer. He was comfortable throughout the day, put a lot of sessions in the day. And of course, the finals are always at the end of the event. And by then, they're usually pretty well beat up. And, bloody hips and uh, backs we've seen. Uh, just by doing the insert here, he went six tenths quicker and the top 40 were within one tenth. Wow, that's amazing. But for speed seat, not just the card seats. I mean, you guys are covering everything. Yeah, we, uh, depending on whatever you drive, fly, or ride, we always say we have something that can work for you. Uh, we've done everything from uh, go-karts all the way up through uh, to uh, boats, and now we're presently working on a helicopter. So it's a uh, a little bit of diversity there from the racing, but our true passion is all in the racing industries. So. Well, and, and as we go from the, our cart seat here and, and we come around, something else about comfort is being cool over a long race, and some of them are definitely super hot. Jody, you guys have come up with something great here. Going to make racers a lot more comfortable a lot longer. Correct. Uh, what we've done here is we've done a custom insert and incorporated air cooling into it. Uh, what we have is a carbon fiber fan that feeds off a NACA duct that powers up the back of the seat. Uh, therefore, creates airflow once the driver sits in the seat, basically directs the airflow throughout the whole seat. Really all it is is a separate insert to the seat. So we used a standard or his stock seat and just foamed him into the seat and created all the airflow uh, for him so that way he's uh, cool throughout the whole race. Well, you know what else is cool? People can do their own seats at home. They can get their own speed seat and you have the kits here, Jody. Correct. Uh, we sell kits that uh, start at a small kit and go oil to a double extra large. Uh, it comes with everything you need from mixer to material to double sided tape, the bag, everything but the drill. And you can go ahead and pour your own seat. Uh, the beauty of this material, it's the most cutting edge, safest material as far as seating goes on the market. And it's, uh, it's SFI 45-2 and ideally it's going to provide the safest environment, most comfortable thing for the driver. Yes, it is. And, of course, racers serving racers. You can find out more at SpeedSeatFactory.com. So, Dan, I, I understand you get a lot of questions about Octane. And what really is Octane, and, and why should we worry about it? 
Uh, it's a good question. We get it from a lot of our customers. Um, octane is, an octane rating is the fuel's ability to resist pre-detonation. We all know pre-detonation as being the piston comes up in the compression stroke and the force of the compression stroke sets the fuel off before the spark plug intended it to. Um, what that creates is an uneven flame front across the face of the piston and it makes the piston rattle in the cylinder bore. So a lot of people will call pre-detonation pinging or knocking. That's where that comes from, is that sound that it makes when it moves up and down in the cylinder bore, but it's not moving in a controlled manner. What about with our high performance engines? You know, high performance engines these days, uh, there's a lot to be had in terms of benefit for these cars using high octane fuel. So if you think about the Ford Mustang, which is a great performance car, or the new you know, Charger or whatever it is, those car companies have to account for good gas around the world and bad gas around the world. So they build some sensitivity in there. And by adding high octane fuel to one of those cars, your seat of the pants dyno will see a difference. You will get more torque, you will get more horsepower. All right, and that's what we needed to know about octane. Here at the PRI show, you just you just never know who you're going to run into, these big famous stars and stuff. Dave Bowman, what in the world are you doing are you up doing? here out of warm Florida? Well, I'll tell you what, anytime I have a chance to come to the PRI show, I love it because, you know, this is kind of like a home week for me, like a college reunion. It's all my old race buddies from Indy and drag racing and sprint cars. They're all here. It's a great place to see them. Well, it's great to see you, but when are we going to see you again on Motorhead Garage? When you get out of my time slot. Oh, well, it's going to be like in April. Well, right? Okay, well we'll, I'll, we'll we'll hop out of the way. Great seeing you. Have some fun here. Oh, Don't it's spend all... all your money. I'm doing my Christmas shop lifting. <laughs> Me too. See ya. Welcome back to Performance TV at the PRI Show. If you are a big rig fan, there is some good news for you. We're introducing the Champ Truck World Series for motorsports in 2015. It's a 10 race series, all road racing, but we will be running a combination of rovals and complete road races. The specs on the truck are pretty basic. We're trying to keep it stock so we can keep the cost down. You can run any engine you want between 10 and 15 liters, but all trucks will have a 70 millimeter air intake restrictor at the turbo. So we can balance out the power no matter what size engine you're running. Transmissions have to be a, a stock shifter type of uh, transmission, no automatics. Uh, you're only going to be using three gears, get out of pit on uh, low range, fourth gear, fifth gear, click it into high range and run ninth and tenth throughout the rest of the race. My partner and I, uh, Fabian Calve, who's the president of TRO over in Europe, we put on ten races a year over in Europe. And uh, yeah, we're going to bring the series back to the United States where it actually started in the late 70s. It's just the costs and rules got out of, out of control and that series folded. So it's the right time to bring it back. In the supercharger world, everybody's heard of BDS, but there's something new at BDS. Steve, you're the new owner of BDS. Tell us a little bit about what's going on with BDS. Yes, I uh, purchased BDS in February, and uh, since I purchased this, we started putting in inventory, and we have over 50 blowers on the shelf compared to the old days where you would order a blower and have to wait four to six weeks to get it. Right, you've ramped up the inventory that when the customer calls to order, they can have it shipped to them right away. Yes, we can ship right off the shelf. Now, now tell me what's a little bit new about BDS. Have you got some new products here? Well, we're working on a whole lot of new products from uh, different rotor designs to our brand new billet cases that we have. And uh, Herman can tell you a little bit more about the R&D side of that. And, uh, Herman, tell me about this, the billet blowers. I mean, we've had the cast forever BDS blower, but now we've come out with a billet case. Yes, what's, what's new about it? Um, the sleek new profile in our billet case, um, being able to machine the case to different specs, um, for all different applications from street, marine, uh, drag racing, and, and dirt applications. Right, there's, there's a lot less flex in a billet case blower. It's going to last a lot longer. It's going to perform better. It's also probably a little lighter. Um, it's, um, yeah, pr pretty much about the same weight as a cast, but, uh, but the strength and rigid, uh, rigidness of it is a lot better than the, uh, than the casting. What about performance? We're going to have a little better performance? Everybody wants to go quicker. That's why they put a supercharger on their car. Right, right. As far as performance, we have seen a drop, a uh, tremendous drop in air temperatures um, because the, the billet case does dissipate the heat a lot better than the, uh, than the cast case would. Plus, I like the looks of it. I mean, it looks cool, too. I mean, I, I like to polish, but uh, in modern day cars now, everybody's going blacked out, anodized, coated. This, this is a good looking piece. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this, this is what you need. If you're going to put a supercharger on your car, 
check out BDS. I mean, they've been around for years, new owner, new technology. That's what I'm gonna have on my car. You know, I've always been very fascinated with NASA. I'll never get to go to space, but you know what I can do is take some of the technology they came up with years ago, and you have tweaked it, Carl, and I can have that in all my engines. That's absolutely true. I was so very fortunate to get to work with NASA during the Gemini program to protect, to perfect the spraying techniques. Well, I saw racing applications, and I became very good friends with A.J. Foyt and his engine builder, Howard Gilbert. I actually could see the benefits of these coatings and what it could do to the durability and performance of their Indy car. So in 1977, when A.J. won the Indianapolis 500, for the fourth time as a car owner and a driver, I had my coatings in the winter circle for the first time. Let's talk about the coatings. Where are we using these coatings? I think a piston will be your first application. We have synthetic polymer ceramics that can protect the structural integrity of the piston, enhance flame propagation, and burn the fuel more efficiently. Then we've got dry film lubricant coatings on the skirt that can help retain oil on the skirt and keep the skirt from scuffing the cylinder and wearing. Or if you've got a drag race motor where you want to reduce as much parasitic drag, this is a coating that oil doesn't stick to. So you get a little bit of uh, friction reduction on that piston going up and down the cylinder. Engine bearings. Uh, remarkably, the polymer coating that we developed, oil sticks to this bearing like glue. So you can't ever have a dry start. I mean, here's a freshly coated one. Here's one that's got 850 runs out of a 1,000 horsepower super comp motor in three years, and you could put it back in. That's absolutely amazing, and, and not only using that on our drag cars, but think about the diesel motors that need to go forever. Diesel motors are really starting to become, for instance, the new hot rod. We're seeing here's a 24-valve Cummins engine that uh, with the synthetic polymer ceramic on the top and the coating on the side or the coating on the bearings, uh, the durability enhancement is tremendous. So the efficiency goes up and the longevity of the parts is just so improved, it's unbelievable. And we need to use this coating right to start with when we are assembling our motors. Find out how you can get your parts done. All you have to do is hop on their website at polydyne.com. We'll have more from PRI here on Performance TV coming up. This edition of Performance TV presented by ARP is being brought to you by Advertising Edge, custom branding solutions and promotional products. Silverback Carbs, technology fueled by innovation. Liberty Engine Parts, distributor of Performance Marine Agricultural Industrial and OEM Replacement Engine Parts and Supplies. Premier Graphics, signs, banners, vehicle wraps, digital printing and more. And by Race Gas, get more out of your engine. Welcome back to Performance TV from Indianapolis. One of the most radical race cars in the world was on display here at PRI, the one and only Delta Wing. Well, you know, we're a different approach to road racing. I mean, we're a car that is very different, looks different than everybody else. We're a prototype car, and our whole concept is half the power, half the weight, half the fuel usage. So we're trying to win and compete with technology. The whole idea about the concept with the narrow track technology is you have less overall mass, and by having less overall mass, that means less weight. Less weight, less power, less fuel usage. Most of the weight is towards the back, 70% is towards the back, 30% on the front. All your braking is done in the back, and, and by, by doing that, you don't have the dive that you would necessarily have in hard braking. So the narrow track technology also helps with, with hookup in the turns because you don't overweight one tire and lift another. They both stay hooked. So the front end actually kind of operates like a lever, makes the turn and turns in, and then the back end then just follows around. Well, 2015, we've done a lot of improvements over the, over the um, off season. I, I call it the season when we're not racing. But we did some improvements to work on uh, some efficiencies to help us in the pits you know, making things a little easier to work on. It's a very tight package in the back of the car. Um, again, with our, our idea of less overall mass, less weight. So we did some improvements to make it a little easier to uh, operate on the car in, in pit stops. 
When it comes to building engines, tolerances, well, you got to keep them nice and tight because we're talking about all of this rotating stuff at huge amounts of RPMs. And Steve, at Trend Performance, you guys are making all types of custom push rods, but we also want to remember you're doing stuff for stock applications too. Absolutely, we've got a full line of stocking uh, push rods with custom push rods. Uh, we've got uh, a full array of diameters and wall thicknesses, anything to suit your needs. Uh, when I kind of take a look at, at the display that you have here at, at PRI, I'm seeing the different tapered ones you have, and, and that is because of why. <laughs> every, uh, every different taper that you see is going to be uh, just a, a clearance um, portion of the push rod where people are having either interference with certain components of the uh, of the engine or they need some more clearance and that's where we uh, fit them right into. And, and different types of materials you're making these out of too. There are different materials that we have been experimenting with but the majority of our stuff is going to be a 4130 chromoly. And what all applications are you building push rods for? Everything. Anything from uh, from a streetcar all the way up to tractor pulling, uh, it just it goes on and on. Anything with a push rod. Just like we even see here, some of the ones that go into, say, blown applications and then in the pro mods. Absolutely. Yeah, we've got the, the 5H, 916s, so and we've, we've got it covered. That from push rods to wrist pins. The wrist pin line is, uh, has been a very good line. We've got uh, a full array of d flavors and material. We've got different coatings. We've got different designs. We've got a lot, of, lot to offer in the wrist pin side of things. We've been doing very well. Now, getting back to the, the push rods, is it pretty difficult to, to work with the customer on to find out exactly what they need when it comes to measuring? No, absolutely not. We've been doing this since 1988, and so we've got a very, very uh, friendly way to communicate uh, you know, what we're looking for from the customer, and we always seem to get what we, what we need. All right, and you can get what you need and find out just how friendly their website is. Just hop on it right now at trendperform.com. And that's all we have for this week's edition of Performance TV. We'll see you next time around.